Hey everybody, this is Shane with Shane's Books and Review. I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. Today's book is going to be one by John Scalzi, and the name of it is Old Man's War. This is a book that quite typically I wouldn't have picked up on my own, but a friend of mine was like, you should really check this out. There is some language that's in that book. It's realistic language, and that I don't have an issue with. Forced language, I do. What can you expect when you read this book? Well, it is a sci-fi book, and it's got a very interesting concept. In the first few pages of the book, it opens up with John Perry and his wife, Catherine, and she ends up dying. And the whole, the whole opening of the book is, is really, really good emotional character development. We start to see the sides of John, his reminiscences of his wife. It really brings you into who he is. It's a great, great way to open a book. And all that is getting us to where he's going to go enlist at 75 years old. And the whole reason is there's this gimmick. The colonial army or the colonial defense force has this way of getting really old people to be able to fight in a war. There's a whole lot of speculation on earth as to how they go about it. Nobody really knows. How would old people be able to fight and protect the colonies? This book is more over the, the journey of Perry as he goes through his first part of his enlistment. There is so many good things and so many good pieces in this book that this will only be a review. This will not be an overview whatsoever. The first time that I read it, I got transported to a place that doesn't exist with people that have had all kinds of things done to them and are fighting the good fight. But it's moreover their story that drawed me into the books whenever I first read them. And I'm saying books because this is a series. There's one caveat. I need to give one caveat. It does kind of fall into the wartime raw raw kick them in the knee type of a mentality while you're reading the book but that isn't necessarily something that should take away from reading the book and it didn't for me i'm not a military person i did not serve in our military i have friends and family that have and i am very grateful for them so whenever i come across a book like this that has a little bit of truth in it i find it highly enjoyable and i think that the truth in this book is probably made up but it's in the dialogue of the characters back and forth that's where Scalzi really shines. Not only was the ideas that are presented, which I'm not gonna tell you, <laughs> they're very clever, they're well done, and yeah, sure, some of it is just way far out, but it's not in a way far out, unbelievable way. Sometimes technologies are described a little bit, just enough for you to make your own conclusions, which is a note of a really good author. Just a couple little snippets from the book to give you an idea of how cleverly wrote this was. There is a scene where he's in basic, and I'm not gonna tell you how you get there or anything like that, but the magical thing has happened and everybody's able to fight now. He has a encounter with a drill sergeant, he being Perry. This drill sergeant just hates everybody. His opening dialogue slash monologue was that I hate everybody equally. I don't care who you are. I don't care what credo you come from. You or somebody from your group has done something to make me mad. And so you're going to run 10 clicks. You're going to do it. I don't care who you think you are. So Drill Sergeant Luis, he, he sets everything straight. But whenever he finally gets to the last person that's there, still standing at attention, he looks at Perry and he says, do you expect me to believe that you somehow do not fit any of the categories that I have mentioned before? And he goes, no. He's like, well, that's just absolutely amazing. So what was it you did for a living? And Perry says, I was a writer. And come to find out, Perry was a advertising writer of all things. But that was awesome. That was that realness that I was talking about just a little bit earlier, the, the truth of the story. Even though it's made up, I mean, the, Somebody that was in that situation, they're not always going to be ex-military. They're not always going to be a doctor or a lawyer or somebody that is incredibly capable and has had a life of doing things that are amazing. Kudos on the small detail there. But it just so happens that this infamously rock'em rock'em drill sergeant, he has a tattoo of an advertisement that John Perry had wrote. 
of Wee 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 Wee, and I could just see how that scene would go down. But that's that's my point is there's multiple moments throughout the book, not where a coincidental type thing is, but there's multiple moments in the book where things are invested. I felt invested while reading it. I was very curious to find out what would happen to John and his counterpoints, the old farts, and I was also, I was along for the ride. It was one of those things where I felt like I was just right over the character's shoulder the whole time. The pacing in the book was really good from start to finish. There's one point in the middle where some of the people that they come up against, being that they are in a war and fighting, are described, and that did maybe lag down a little bit, but if a book is 100% go all the time, uh, in my opinion, I think that gets a little boring, so that was a much needed break at a very well-placed area. The technologies described in the book, whenever it came to the actual fighting, some of the things that are mentioned buzzword-wise are around even thought of and being developed today. But nothing was actually beyond the scope of, yeah, until you actually get into where he's talking about some of the alien stuff. But even that was done in a very good way. Instead of trying to focus on making up new words or, or new categories of science or whatever, the author got that taken care of in a very good way as well. The thing that surprised me whenever I first read this book, I wasn't expecting it to have a romantic level to it. And the reason why I didn't expect that is just the way that things were set up. So that was a very good surprise for me. In previous videos, I have mentioned, would I recommend you spending your money on this book? And on this one, I most certainly would. If you like science fiction, the war type stuff, I mean, you can kind of even forget that that's happening at points. So, I mean, it's not space war, space war, rah, rah, rah. It's a book that could be enjoyed not only by a 14 to 16 year old, but it's also a book that can be enjoyed by a 40 year old just the same and even older because there's a lot of life experience type things that once you get to that point, you can appreciate the nuances of life and what a person would be going through and empathize with them on a great, greater level than you can when you're 14 or 15. But as a 14 or 15 year old, then the other aspects of the book, being the rah rah re stuff, would be much more your style and what you would care for more, I would think. So, I mean, there's a good balance for young and old. Really good story. At the end of the book, whenever I first read it, there it wasn't a series yet. I was very curious, would there be another one? But eventually, yes, it was announced and there it was. And I read it too. Actually, I've read them all. Now, this video might end up being a little bit shorter than the other videos that I've had, and there's a reason for that. On my other channel that I run for my business, I have a video that's going to drop sometime very soonish, and that video has to do with me whenever I came across Video Creator Labs while I was ironically working on a computer. I was taking a break and there it was, uh, but I signed up for it, and so I'm going to be going to that. Now there will be absolutely no interruption for my viewers because I've thought ahead. And in fact, by the time that you see this video, that event will be over for almost two weeks. So yeah, but the long of it all is simply this. I've got to pack up my whole office. I've got to get my mobile studio ready to go. I did want to say this. I've mentioned that I will take a look at things that you guys say and the comments that you make. There's a particular user that I want to thank because they're not only the highest commenting individual, but they also left a list of things that they would suggest that we check out. So that would be for Lynette. And Lynette had a good list of things to check out. And, and I have, I've looked at them and I've looked at the, some of the reviews and the next video that we're gonna do is going to be on Red Planet Blues by Robert J. Sawyer. It is a mystery on Mars. I've been reading this already and I'll probably finish it while I'm on my way to, well, Cincinnati. So there's a chance that I might record our next little session while I'm in Cincinnati, which is why I'm gonna take my mobile studio so I can be prepared just in case. With all that being said, I wanted to say thank you, Lynette, uh, for, the, for the suggestion, really. It's a good one. It started whenever I was reading it, and in the beginning, I, I kind of, well, I get Cagney. 
Cagney is my, my main person in this book so far in the voice that I'm hearing in my head while I read. It's kind of like a noir, kind of a beginning for me, but what, what do you think? Because uh, I'm sure as you'll see this. And now you've done it, you've made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. If you happen to be new here, we would love to have you join our happy little family. So look for that little subscribe button and once you click on it, uh, look for the bell so you make sure you get those notifications. And if you like something you saw in this video, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. If there's something informative in here that you think might help somebody decide if they would like to get this book or not, feel free to share it. I won't stop you. And as always, if you happen to have a good book that you would like for us to check out on the channel, leave a note down there in the description and we certainly will check it out. Today's book has been Old Man's War by John Scalzi. This has been Shane with Shane's Books and Review and I'll see you in the next video.